All right, so I have not been on the charts because I have been gone for a week. I was out in San Antonio, Texas, watching my son graduate from the Air Force basic training. And so I have not been on the charts, but that's what I'm getting ready to do right here. I'm gonna go ahead and record just me going through the charts, going through all my alerts, seeing what would have set up and how I possibly could have gotten into the market. Um, and then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and pull up trading view now. So trading view, it's here. What is my general consensus on how I get into the markets? I am looking for, yep, I am looking for support and resistance areas that I'm looking at. I'm waiting for price to come into these areas, show me a little bit of rejection, and then I'm looking to get in on the next candle wick creation. If I can't get in then and I have a strong reaction from that level, then I will look at two candle theory. If I have a strong bearish candle off a, off a resistance level, then I'm expecting the next candle to also be bearish. And so I'll look into a, once again, 50% retracement of a wick creation there. So that's pretty much how I trade and um, we will go from there. So let's uh, let's get rid of all these markings here. So go away, go away. Um, nope. Let's get rid of all these markings here. Clear the charts out. And so let's go look at the all the alerts. So let's come down here. I'm gonna start slow. Open this chart here. <coughs> CHFJPY, I believe this was one in I had put here in um, why is everything freezing up on me okay maybe not what is going on CHFJPY those Eurocads, Eurocads, Eurocad, CHFJPY buy. It was just not going. So that's that's the only reason I got out of that one. <clears throat> it did not go at the time that I was expecting it to, but it eventually did. It made it all its way up there. So that's that one right there. Probably had another alert. I probably had the alert at the take profit <clears throat> since uh, I have one down here at the stop loss. We'll get rid of that one. And then basically I'd come in here and clean the chart up. I'm probably gonna wait to do that till I actually get to the computer, although um, that upper level there looks fine. I have nothing new that has been created. So this would probably be the next level, but then I also have a lower level there that we could possibly get reaction from. So let's see, I don't really care for that one. I'm gonna leave that one alone. So let's get rid of that guy. So that's all we got for right now for CHFJPY. Let's move on. So CHFJPY, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to get these notifications to stop while I'm recording. That does me no good if it keeps popping up. <coughs> USDJPY, what do I see? I see nothing now. That's an old alert there. Don't know if that was the alert. That could have been it. Um, nothing new as far as an entry. We have an area here that price is respected. We have a area Oh, that's not good. Okay. We have an area here. How do I 
can't I escape the stupid thing? Thank you. Good gracious. Look there. Nothing has developed. Nothing has developed in this area. So we'll leave that alone. And we will just get rid of that. That's fine there. Let's go to the next chart. Looks like I had the UPA. USDJPY there. That can go away. We can come all the way down here. USDJPY. Delete that one. We have GPP IOD. <coughs> go there. Where was this alert at? No idea. It's okay. What do we got now? Nothing really. We have this area here that has been respected now. So we can look to put something up there as a an alert. And around that area there. We have this level here that's been was a support area for some time. And we sort of broke it. But we have not we haven't gotten any good rejection off that. So I would wait for a rejection before possibly looking into taking a trade off that. Four hour, we got less than an hour before this one closes. I'd have to wait for the next candle after that. And then even then it would probably be the next candle after that. So not this candle, not the next candle, but that candle right there. We would go ahead and set an alert there. So this would be on the four hour. See if that one sets up as a rejection. Moving on through. This would be done quicker um, if I wasn't already, you know, what, this is September 5th. We're in, what is today, the 11th? So September 11th, so we are six days behind. If I was staying up on this all while I was on my trip, it would have been all right. So. As we were just on that other chart before, this is what we're looking for here. So, as you can see here in this area, once price broke this area, came down, came back in, we had a rejection there. <clears throat> we could take the wick creation of the next candle to come in. We could also possibly take the wick creation of the third candle and could have possibly made targets at that point in time. So, we shall see how that goes. Right now, NZD USD have nothing in the current moment. Um, this is the recent, most recent high area that created that very shallow low, but it's still, we could get some sort of reaction out of that. So we'll leave that there. Mark all that up. NZD USD is done. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Get rid of you. We'll move to NZD CAD. This one's been going sideways. Was looking for a bounce out of that area down below, as you can see here. Was waiting for a, a zone there with a bounce. Wick rejection. We got some wick rejections. Could have possibly got an entry there. Didn't get a bounce out of this zone once it came back in, but as you can see, it uh, blew right through. So. No biggie there. We'll leave these guys there. I will put in another alert down in this area because it seems to be respected. Now this one I'm going to get rid of because it has not been respected. We will shore up this one a little bit for more recent price action here. So I'd want to see somewhere near these highs, and then we'll leave that alone. And that was NZD CAD. Go away. Hot NZD. I have a ray on this one. This was a trend line array. Was looking for a bounce last week or week before last out of that. 
Got a bounce all the way up to that level there. That would have been nice if I would have taken it, but I did not take it. So we'll get rid of this ray and this ray right here. And then what do we have? We have a level that has been respected up here and could possibly come down and test it again. We've been creating lower highs all the way down. This is another lower high area, although we are currently in that area. So let's see how we react in the next couple hours to this one right here. So if you don't see what I'm seeing, this is the lower or the higher low. Higher low? No. Lower high that created this low. And so if it's going to continue down, it should not break and close above this area here. And so if we can get a strong bearish candle like this one right there, then we could possibly look to take the next bearish candle and continue on down. We'll see how that plays out though. Hot NZD is done. And so most of this is pretty quick. I already blew through that one since we got rid of the ray. So here would have been another setup of USD CAD, break and retest. We just had a resistance there, price came, broke above it, tested once, came down, actually tested much deeper, uh, would have gotten an entry and then looked to take a second entry. And so I had marked both those up, never actually took them, and then, uh, and then had another alert up here which seemed to have triggered. That's probably what we're looking at right now. Um, it's from way in the past. So it would have worked out if you held longer and didn't close with this strong, uh, relatively strong bullish candle right here. That could have probably freaked me out or anybody else who might have been in this one and closed it before it finally rolled over. Um, if you aren't one to generally watch your trades that closely, then who knows, you may be in a good situation right now if you took that one. So what do I have now? Well, I still have this area here that I will look at. We'll get rid of these guys. That is no longer valid. But now we have this area here where price has come in and respected. So we'll leave that there. This area is now much bigger and we could possibly come up in here and see, you know, something like a double top or something like that in this area. I think I would want a little bit in the high of this area there, less than the middle, just because of where it's actually respected or bounced now before. So it'll give me a little bit more um, comfort in taking that trade. USD CAD is done. So let's get beyond that one. Delete. NZD CHF. Price did not come in there. It looks like we're coming up in here. Might have to leave that there. Yeah, let's bring that down from about where it reacted. Uh, we might be getting a lower reaction than, than when where the alert is now, which is fine. If price moves away, and doesn't react where where I expect it to, who cares? I uh, will still leave this level here as a solid area. I don't know why the, there we go. And I'll probably move this, I'll move this up. Really? Okay, that's fine. Why don't you like me? Move this up. So that's what we have for NZD CHF. NZD CHF, delete. GPAUD, I feel like we've already looked at GPAUD. I have an alert there, yeah, we have. We can get rid of that guy. And then GPCHF. Had some ray crossing right there. It was respecting that. I've 
support and resistance is is perfect um, but I was looking at adding you know just when they're crystal clear lines that have seemed to be respected it's like those make sense to add the all I'm doing is increasing my trade taking and by increasing the amount of trades I take I could possibly end up hitting my goal faster uh, especially if I'm managing it the same exact way the idea being you know if it doesn't look like it's going to uh, do what I want it to to get out early if it looks like it's going to do what I want it to to add to it or at least let it run and so this is where we get some of that right there where you know you have this trend line right here and I will highlight that uh, brighter color so it can be seen um, where it was respected in the past and I have been doing the line chart in order to stay consistent with it to make sure I'm not just drawing lines based upon um, just just out of the thin air like I want it to make sense and so the the closes of the candle on the line chart if it looks nice there I will draw it and leave it alone and then uh, so this has worked out well a couple different times and uh, we'll see how that goes I don't take very many off I don't take them very often the trades off of a trend line but I have started to incorporate it in my trading style my trading journal my trading plan so this is all I have for right now it looks like we're just going sideways for quite a bit so I'll leave those higher levels there and we'll come down here to euro USD USD JPY is right after that I'm pretty sure we've already done that one um, see here's another one with the trend line that one is directly off the tops I think I don't think I actually did yeah um, I, it is off the tops, but it's actually off the tops of the uh, the uh, line chart, as you can see there. And it just makes sense once you actually come back to the candle chart to see that it lines up pretty nicely. So that might be another area that I look to take a trade. That's why they're alert there. I'm looking for this break and retest on this level here, if price can get there. Price never actually got down low enough to trigger that trade down there. Um, so, which is fine. I don't know if I'll take a trade off of it if it does trigger. Now that you've already bounced from here, we shall see. Let's go ahead and get rid of that alert now. Delete. USD JPY. Um, we did, I did look at this one earlier. Marked up that zone up there. All these zones can go away now. They're not being respected. No good. No good and we'll leave that the way it is we do have a small no I wouldn't even call it a break and retest I mean it is a break and retest you have this small little break of a small support and then you're coming up to retest it now um, I would might look to possibly get in there if price can come back in there again and show some rejection I might I might look at something like that so we'll leave that alone USD JPY, delete, NZD USD, I feel like we've cleaned this one up already, EuroCAD with the Ray, so that one would have worked out as far as a sell. Um, no rejection on the raise. We can get rid of that guy. That guy. I did get a rejection on the bottom of that ray, but I don't think I was looking at that. So now we have this zone right here, which is no longer relevant. That zone was clear earlier. This zone up here is still clear. This guy can go away, as we just said. That guy up there. He's still good. This guy down here, still good. We can actually go ahead and zoom him out. That seems to be the next level that we will hit. Unless we actually start getting some clearer structure on the way down. I don't see anything that's clear. 
So we will uh, leave that alone. So we'll go to NZD CAD now. Bouncing sideways, pretty sure we've cleaned this one up already as well. So it should become, your, your trading should become very repetitive. You should be doing the same thing day in, day out. We'll up this level here, that's a much higher level there. And there should be nothing much that surprises you. We have this lower level here. Hmm. I don't like that one. We've already tested that one, so I'm going to get rid of it. And let's leave those two. We are just trailing nice and up and up and up and up and up. So it's like, if we're trailing up, do I really expect this zone to hold? I mean, we keep bouncing and we get lighter bounces as we keep coming through. So eventually we're gonna, we should break this area right here. We'll see. So I'll leave those alone. I'll actually, let's do this. I already have a alert up there. So CAD JBY. Year of CHF. Going sideways, trailing up. If we could trail up further and look at this area right here as a break and retest, that would be something I would look towards. So let's go ahead and set that guy up. And we're just looking for a little further push up, come down, and then retest, and we'll be good to go. So I'll wait for that. That's good. NZD USD. Same nothing much you can get really really nitty-gritty into these things like here. like look at this right in here you can look at that and go yeah that was a support and we've broken it and now we're coming back into this level but it's like how was it really a support sure price paused here for a bit but did it actually bounce off this like a big pogo stick absolutely not so I'm not trying to get into stuff like that where I have to think about it too much I like these bigger ones these big zones like that that one up here where prices bounced off and actually created created structure like it broke through a level and so that one makes more sense so NZD USD We got a few more to go. Obviously, I had a trade set up for Euro CHF at some point in time. That one, that one's over there. Not sure about these guys. We've actually just marked this up here short recently. So, do, 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 do. I think a lot of these we've already we've already hit. Yep. Next level I have is somewhere up here. Right around this area there. We got this area just like that that we're looking for. So once price can get up in there, we'll see how price reacts. GBCAD. GBCAD, we had a break and retest. That was nice. What was uh, that? That was 708.36. So yeah, that was, that was in, in this area here. 
708.36, somewhere in here. We were waiting for price to come back in here, give some rejection and bounce away. It did. Good, lottie dotty, that's great. Missed that trade though, which is okay. There will be others. And so now we're just, we're waiting. If price is gonna continue down, we'll go to another break and retest area that we can actually look to take another trade. If not, then um, we move on to a different pair. It's just that, it's just that simple. Let's not complicate it. Let's not do way too much. It's CHF, we've already bounced off this area. Now it looks like we're breaking through. If we could get a nice little pull up here a little bit more and then come down, could possibly look into taking that trade all the way up. We'll have to see. It definitely has to push away from here now. Um, we haven't fully broken above it, so I'd hate to get caught in in just a little spike that ends up rolling over. So we'll see how that works. NCD CHF. Already marked up this one too. Oh good, we're getting close to the end. Did I see another NCD CHF? I did. Delete. And we have two Euro NZDs. We have three Euro NZDs. Let's get rid of all those. Um, what else do we got? Euro JPY. All right. Look at that. Getting so close. So this was a ray. Looking for rejection off a ray. Didn't happen. As you can see, when price came down into this level here, there was no rejection off of this area that would make me think that price is going to continue going in that the next direction so no biggie there we'll get rid of this array um, that's one of the beautiful things about using the drawing tools like the lines and the rays when you delete them the alert goes away too uh, the only downside is you don't get pinpoint accuracy with pricing um, with the array, if the candle itself has touched the ray or the the um, the line, then it'll set off your alert. Whereas these alerts are directly on that price, and so it doesn't matter where the candle's at or how it is, or if the whole candle closes or is touching above and beyond it. It's like no, once price gets back to that level, that's when it'll trigger. So that's pretty nice. So that's why I use these but I also like using rays every now and then. Rays and segments and lines and all that other stuff. So another thing here, we're just going sideways and NZD JPY. Let's get rid of that guy. That's the wrong one. Delete. Euro NZD. Mm, I feel like we've already cleaned this guy up before, but we will put one right there because price has not actually dug deep enough into this we still might get a good bounce out of that so euro nzd says array oh it is array we got a couple rays there so there's a ray there so we got a rejection there followed by two bullish candles don't know Based upon that rejection, I don't think I would have got, been able to get into a trade because there is no bottom wick on that bullish candle for me to be able to turn and do the flip with. So there is another array a little bit further down. Um, if we look, zoom out there, we have, that's a, we have, why does it say that it's, it's already been touched? That's fine. I'll leave it alone and just leave that support there. GEP, JPY, we've already played with this one. Uh, price has already bounced. Has not pulled far enough away to get, make me feel comfortable. You could you could easily get a just a pop back up in here and then a test back on here and continue going up. And for you know, those who do patterns, that's a head and shoulders. So that's a viable option. Um, I would look to something like that if price could come here. Um, I'd want to see that roughly near that shoulder area be touched again before it came back down. 
But uh, so yeah, don't know if it's gonna go up, going down. It's 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 too much right now, um, especially because you haven't fully really like done anything new. Like if you wanted to have, if this was a support area, then you haven't really broken it. And so it all depends on how you draw your zone. And so with that, I'm not touching it. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And then um, if, it, if we can come back further down here, then I will look to, let's see if we can come back to here and down here, break that low. Then I'll look to actually get into a trade somewhere. And then uh, delete that one. Come into this guy. Uh, we got a rejection off that. Chances are this is somewhere where my alert was at was in here. Um, once again, we run into that same thing, just like with GUP, JPY. It's like, where is the zone? Have we broken the zone? If it's up here, then yeah, we've broken it and we could possibly be retesting and coming back down. If this is the zone, then we're still in the zone. What are we going to do? And so I don't know. I don't know. And if I don't know and don't feel comfortable about it, then I'm going to leave it alone. And so just like Euro JPY or uh, GP JPY, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add an alert here. If price breaks down, then we'll be good to go. Um, for this head and shoulders, this would have to come up way up here to actually touch that for a head and shoulders. So you come back up, touch this area here, come back into the zone, and then continue on. I'm game for that. That works for me. This zone here has now been widened to include this up here. So I would do something like stop that. I would do something like that. And so I need to add an alert there. That's pretty high. We'll leave that there. So that is that. Delete. I have this parallel channel I want to take a look at. Oh, it's just price leaving this parallel channel. I'm waiting for price to leave this parallel channel because we've been going sideways. So that's that. That's all the alerts I have right here. The alert log should be good. Um, that was, okay, yeah, we did get an exit out of that at some point in time on the daily, but, um, you know, we'd have to go look at that. Let's go look at that. On the daily, we did get an exit. Um, and so, yeah, barely an exit. That bearish candle right there. Yeah, barely an exit. So we bounced off of that. Don't know what's going to happen with this. Um, we'll see. I will go ahead and I'll put an alert roughly in this area right here. Because price could come in there, show some rejection, and bounce away. So with that, that is everything. That's everything. So I've marked up everything, set off all my alerts, and now I'm just waiting for price to do what it's gonna do. And then I'll make a plan. So hopefully, if you're following along, hopefully you guys keep it that simple. Try to keep it simple, don't overcomplicate it. Work on controlling your risk, controlling your patience, your fear, your greed. Um, a lot of this is gonna be about you and how you learn about yourself and can control yourself. The market does what it does. Trading's not too difficult for a concept, the trade, hardest part of trading is you, learning you, developing you, working on you. So look forward to seeing you guys on the charts. I look forward to getting back on the charts and then uh, just enjoying the day. All right. You guys have a blessed time. Bye.